So back on court two here at the World Championships in Copenhagen in Denmark. And after that uh, sad, unfortunate retirement for Adam Dong, we do, of course, hope that uh, he gets better. It's the men's singles. Li Shi Feng, the number six seed, the reigning All England champion, up against Kantafon Wang Charion. Now, looking at the draw, well, we did, of course, watch that wonderful match between Lu Guangzhou and Wang Suwei earlier. And Wang Suwei has uh, booked his spot in round three, and the winner of this match will face him, but still up at the top of the draw, Kunlovit Vitisan, one of the dark horses of this, uh, this tournament, Laksha Sen as well. They should make their way through to round three, but of course, Igor Coelho and John Hyuk Jun may have something else to say about that. So Li Shifeng against Kantafong Wang Charion. Li Shifeng has definitely upped his profile of late, that's for sure. And here he comes with that All England win. It's actually his fourth appearance at the World Championships. Best result so far was round three. I'm sure he's hoping to get through that. And while we do have the time, I just say I hope you do enjoy that little Look into the warm-up courts. His opponent from Thailand. Which we managed to get because, of course, there was some extra time due Number to that four, retirement five, from Adam yeah. Dong. But that's what happens to the players just before they come on. And you get nicely warmed up. Here's Cantafont, 34 in the world, playing number six. And this is a big stage for him. Still looking for his first World Tour title. That has... Come up from the ranks, of course, Thailand now definitely, I mean, it has been for a while since the likes of Rajnok Intalon, but definitely so well spread out in terms of all the disciplines. Men's singles players following in the likes of the legendary Bunsak Ponsana from years ago. But women's singles with Rajnok Intalon and Dusanan and Bang Rum Fan. You've got Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai, and of course the Aimsard sisters in women's doubles. Mixed doubles, Dechapol and Sapsiri really is Strong, strong side. I'm sure we're going to be seeing them making much more of an impact on team events soon. This could be a very interesting matchup indeed. And Cantafon just setting himself up for the coin toss now. Head to head. And that's surprising. Okay. Let's do the toss. One Black nothing to Cantafon. Black for you, red for you. Black. Decide. Receive. Okay. Well, Good luck. He has beaten Li Shi Feng that one time, but of course that was in 2022. And as I said, Shi Feng has had quite a meteoric rise since then. And he's had a great 2023 as well, I can tell you. As for Cantafon, not the best start to 2023. It's been first or second round exits off 11 events so far this year. But he has picked up a bronze medal right here. 24 years old now, his highest ranking 12. And that was 2019. It was the Basel 2019 edition and singles where he picked up his bronze medal here. So he does know how to get to the latter stage of the tournament for sure, but has been battling some recent form issues. Still looking for that elusive first World Tour title. But bronze medalist at the SEA Games as well, and bronze medalist at the Junior Championships. That was his first round opponent, Fabio Caponia. 21-11, 21-11, 38 minutes. That's a decent run out. Flawless so far for Cantafon. And as for Li Shi Feng, well, 23 years old, as I said, cementing his uh, prowess with that All England win, born in Jiangxi, has been as high as five. And that was just recently in July, so he's peaking, absolutely peaking. Part of the gold medal winning team, of course, from Suzhou. That was his first um, result, Dimitri Panarin, 21-10, 21-8 in 30 minutes. 
pretty much a standard run up for Xi Feng. But uh, really the reigning All England champion, as I said, but also a big win at the US Open. He was second in Canada, um, third at the German Open and the Indo Open, Indonesia Open, I should say, quarter finalists in Singapore and India. And ready to play? Really quite well rounded now. Ivo Castle, our umpire for this one. Joined by our service judge, Eric Kurtz. Now on paper, regardless of the head-to-head, -head, uh, Xi Feng should be the man to take this, but Cantafon is a difficult opponent to beat. And that's what he's going to have to use if he wants to start his run right here. As I said, we've already figured out who will be playing. Wang Su Wei stretched in an 85-minute game against Lu Guangzhou. And that will only help one of these players should they get to meet him in the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Xi Feng, China. <laughs> and on my left, Kantafon Van Cholun, Thailand. Cantapon Vanchalan to serve. Love all. Play. Oh. Straight down the line from Xi Feng. Look at the accuracy on that. Service over. One. Love. The first of many winners we're going to be seeing. He's picked up three titles on the World Tour now. Canada Open, of course, the US Open just recently. We beat Kunlovic. And England, where, of course, he beat his compatriot, Shi Yuji. That's just out. Two, love. Oh, no challenge coming from Cantafon. On, on the board. Two, three. The big kill. Three all. And just like that, Cantafon back in it. Three all. Already looking like a very tactical affair, much like that wonderful match that we watched earlier on. Court two between Liu Guangzhou and Wang Su Wei. Such a high level of competition in the men's singles badminton world these days. By Xi Feng. Service over. Four, 
three. Currently has the most incredible win-loss record. Shi Feng, 145 wins, 52 losses. That's unbelievable. A 23-year-old. Five, three. But now, as we have said, starting to move from the youth and junior circuit onto the senior circuit and in style by winning some big, big tournaments. There's a gold medalist at the Youth Olympic Games back in 2018. Six, Very much three. one of the next big things, if not already the big thing, when you say next. But with Victor, Ak Victor Axelsen still in the draw, and that's the man to beat these days, of course. Then the middle. Victor looking to make history this week in Copenhagen in front of his home fans, yes. picking up the world title, his third. If he can, he's already started his account very, very well. Hi. Good to see so many fans here in the Royal Arena. So 6-3. Six, three. Three. She thanked Cantafon trying to find a way in. That's a good rally. Nice interception there. Out. So, mistake in the end, and that might be the Seven, difference three. between them. 48 shots are benchmark for the longest rally so far. Shi Feng with a comfortable four point lead already. up, pops up, gets that extra bit of height to get that angle in. That's fluid action. And it's straight down the line. It's good from Cantafon. Service over. Four. So Eight. important to have that follow-up. Yeah. Well, this is the first one. That's a mind and awareness to come through. Looking for the kill, finds it, executes Can it well. Thank you. Service over. 9-4. Oh, good shot to the baseline playing in that other side of the court. Shi Feng, this is very nicely weighted to the back line.
Nicely tuck out, almost. Service over. Five, nine. Well, that's the challenge for Cantafon. He's playing with the tiniest margins and the tiniest spaces that he has to find. If he's going to beat someone with the court coverage of Shi Feng. In addition to trying to fire into those tiniest spaces, he has to keep his unforced error count down. He's not the most error strewn player at all, Cantafon, but it's one of the main things that really differentiates the top 10 from the rest. Leaky games. You can't have games where you're leaking points. Pressure from the Thai player. Just can't find a way through right now. It's gone out as well. Challenges called out. Well, that challenge had to come at some point. Unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. 11-5, interval. Oh, I didn't want to say it, but it would have been lucky if he got that. 11-5. เราทําดีกว่าถ้าตีล่างอ่ะไม่น่าโอเคกว่าฮะใช่ป่ะอาจจะว่าปัดปักเร็วพร้อมเปิดไปพร้อมมันแก้มามึงอาจจะ
So wipe down just to break the rhythm of the game. Cantafon has been trying his hardest in the second phase of game one. Still not 100% finding his range. Thank you. He's always got to watch out for the various weapons that Li Shifeng has in his arsenal. Enough to win Super 1000 tournaments, that's for sure. And he's also one of these players that is always looking to get better, and that's an important point. Victor Axelsen 13, is another one. Six. Continuously looking to improve themselves, get better and better. And Axelsen definitely at his peak right now after having played some of the greatest names in the game. Ruling the roost. 14-6. Li Shifeng running away with his first game. Service over. Oh, chance for Cantafon to cut back in to this lead. That's a good winner. Clear cut. Picked his spot. Eight, Set it up nicely. Yes. On that, that one. Over. Sixteen nine. Nice pick up by Shi Feng. Again, open court. Oh, that's in. Feng challenges. Oh, Call that looked in. long. I think that could be 50-50. Well, a couple of good opportunities in that rally for Shi Feng to finish it off. He didn't. And he played it towards Cantafon. Cantafon's movement was definitely on the right side. Here it comes. Oh, it's out. Correction out. Seventeen-nine. So on serve, successful challenge. Seventeen-nine, and everything falling Play. nicely for the world number six. Space into that right over. side. 10 17. Well, Cantafon's had a couple of good winners into that area. There's the setup, and then just gets behind it. It's all about racket head. Oh, 
hands over. 18, 10. Oh, wonderful winner from Shi Feng, cross court. 19, 10. Haven't really seen him go into any kind of extra gear. He's been comfortable in what he's been doing. Oh, that's just out. Cantapon Bangshalon challenges, called out. Another challenge coming. And that is still out. Unsuccessful, no challenges remaining. Well, I don't think it's going to affect him in this game. Out of challenges now with Shi Feng just Play. needing two points. Well, one point. Of course, he's ten game points. I don't think he's going to need too many. In fact, he didn't. That's 21-10. First game won by Li Shi Feng, 21-10. That's 20 minutes in. Good run out so far for Shi Feng. จริงๆว่าเปิดไปหลังก่อนเพราะว่าถ้าเกิดระวังเราโดนผักผักถ้าเราตีหลวงแล้วมันเกี่ยวลงเอาเข้ามาวางหรือเข้ามาผักโดน
Start his run, Chi Feng. That was good power. Reflex defense from Cantafon. Catches the net. That's Four, one long. Two. So he's off again. difficult to stop him when he gets onto a point run. And it's that great action again into the corner. He did get something to it, Cantafon, but just couldn't get enough. Can you check, Cantafon? Just check. Thank you. She thinks it's amazing how Cantafon got it back. It's an incredible rally. Oh, what a shot from Cantafon to end that. Service over. Three, five. He's done well there. Yes. But really, top class rally in all senses of the word. angle on that when it comes down Six, three counter font you got a feel for him he's really trying his hardest just look at that just skims the top and then takes this incredible trajectory down and it's lost can you, can you check so six three and what's important here is counterfon has to not drop his head Still hasn't really found. There have been a couple of good winners cross court for him, especially into mid court. Or was that one a couple of points ago where he just really Six, locked it in perfectly, three. but just isn't getting the ammunition, the feed in to fire off shots like that. Shi Feng is keeping it very tight, as you'd expect from a top 10 player. as well from Shifeng, just Service sort of over. 
backtracking, just shuffling Four, back a couple of six. steps. Shifts the body position, and then it's into the shot. Wonderful shot from Shu Feng. Wow. Service over. Seven, four. Well, just in these last two or three points, it looks like there's the shot. Wow. Pulls it up with the other angle as well. But just in these last two or three points, it does look like Shu Feng has moved into at least half of that extra gear that he has. Hasn't needed to, but I think he's just testing it out. That was good from Cantafon. down again so eight four eight four oh, it's no stretch or exaggeration to say that Li Shi Feng might be here on Sunday in the final or oh, one of the players that could of course that with that disclaimer because of so many other players in the men's singles division and are capable of not just winning but the upset as well and great footwork oh. from, from Li Shi Fan that was good Service count off on five eight So, one of the few points that Shi Feng has dropped in the last five or six. Still with that three-point buffer and looking good for it. And a little respite from the wipe down. 31 minutes they've been on court now. Snapback return by Cantafon. Trying again to eke out some opportunity for a winner. So mistake over. from Shi Feng, that's good. Six for nine. his opponent. I think it was down to a racket though. And that's a great shot there of exactly how much movement Li Shi Feng is forcing Kantavon into. He's really pushing him around the court at times, asking all the questions. Thank you.
jumped up. Nice so action over. again. Pops it into Ten, the corner. Six. Yep. Had nothing he could do but force that lift. Has to clear just a bit short. And it's enough for Shi Feng to get behind. So 10-6, moving towards the second mid-game interval. And still, Li Shifeng, total control of this one. It's oh, nice. So he's over. The body shot. Seven, ten. From Nuncharyon. Service over, 11-7 interval. So, two-heat, second mid-game interval. 11-7, Shi Feng ahead and having to work a tiny bit harder. But still enough to stay ahead of Kantafon. Eleven seven play. Twelve seven. Well, continuing off where he left off. Of seven, good start to the second phase of game two. Service over eight twelve. Yes. Well, he was poised and ready to over. fire back a winner. Didn't need it in the end. Uh, again, just off that shot, you just saw how far it actually drifted, and that's an indication of the breeze in this big arena. And more of a testament to the wonderful work these players do to keep that shuttle within the lines. That's nice from Cantafon. Service over. Nine... 13. Oh, nice from Cantafon just Reflex defense there. And that was 10, probably the first loose shot that we've seen to the backcourt from Li Shifeng. And this a good little mini burst of energy from the Thai player. Still think he needs a bit more juice in this 
and run if he's going to overturn the deficit and, of course, go on to start a comeback run. I think Chi Feng has definitely got a grip. Oh, enough control. 13. To see this one through in two. Then right, then left. The counter on flawed. This was the left. This was the right. That's what I mean about moving his opponent round. There's the left. And it's almost like a boxing combo. Left, right, left, and he's on the floor. In the middle. Tough challenge for anybody playing Li yes. Feng. Thank you. Fourteen ten. but surely almost inevitably moving towards the conclusion of this match. Number six seed, world number six, all England champion. Living up so far to the expectations put on him. 16, 10. And this is first real test, I guess in round two. Um, Dmitry Panarin from Kazakhstan. The first round, 21-10, 21-8. Kantafon definitely a regular on the world tour. And it's gone long, 17-10. 17-10. Previous shot. 11, 17. He thought was good enough. But in the end, there was another hit and hope to the back line. Again, didn't work out for him. But Cantafon cannot count on yes. or rely on mistakes from Shi Feng to help his cause here. He has to look for the outright winners. He has to look for the plays at the net, hopefully. It's not about speed, it's not about tempo. It's about being in the right place 11, at the right time, really. 17. Light, delicate touch at the net. Wow. Again, Service look at the footwork over. here. 18, Set up there. 11. And then it's two steps back, shifts the position, jumps and fires absolutely on the line. Near side to Kantafon as well. Didn't have to go cross court. Just quality, quality delivery. Rapidly closing in 11. to the conclusion of this match. It's been a valiant attempt by Cantafon. And I'd be very, very surprised 
if he turned it round from here. Match points. So, nine match points. 43 minutes on court, a little bit longer for Shi Feng than he probably would have expected, I guess. And that is down to the fight from the Thai player. That's a great winner. Service over. 12, 20. And that's really down to the service as well. See, that's right into his hitting zone. Just hasn't had the chance to do that all match. Counterfont kept it very tight, Shi Feng. And there's a winner, cross court for you, as easy as you like, you could do that all day. 21-10, 21 21-12, 21 44 minutes. And he is through to play Wang Su Wei, and that is going to be match absolute cracker of a match in round three. 21-10, 21-12. Looking back at that last point, just look at the ease at which he dispatches this. There's that great positional ability. There's the jump and eyes of a hawk when it comes down to it. Solid outing for Li Feng. 21-10, 21-12, on to round three. The men's singles draw evolving very nicely indeed. So coming up next, it's the Singaporean pair of Andy Quek and Lo Kian Hien taking on Ren Jiang Yu and Tan Xiang. The men's doubles don't go anywhere. Court two here at 